welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you now. What I'm going to talk about right now is a topic of discussion. I'm going to I'm going to try to shine more light on why a lot of men are trying to distance themselves from the modern day woman, black woman, black women in particular. One of those reasons, man, this clip here is so outrageous, man. One of the reasons why men are trying to distance themselves from you women is because of the way you value relationships. You treat relationships like they're trash and that they're cheap. I have a lady right now that I'm for the play right now who was married, cheated on her man, left her husband to be with that man. That man later became her fiance. But that's not the kicker. The reason why she left her husband is because the man she was cheating with <laughs> brought her a bag of rocks. That's right. Rocks from outside that you throw in it. Rocks because she loved nature. Whew. Anyway, let me let me get to it, man. I mean, God dang, let's get to the craziness of this all. Give me a second to put it up on your screen so you can see it for yourself, y'all. One second. Get ready. How did your fiance take you away from your husband? I mean, he didn't take me. I left. I left because the fiance just had it was it was a swag. But he wasn't a bad guy. The husband? Your husband. He wasn't, but he wasn't a guy for me at that time. Like I like to pick up, I know it's crazy to pick up rocks. I'm a nature person. I like rocks and leaves and grass and shit. I like to go outside and barefoot it. And I just collect little rocks. This nigga went to the store and bought me a bag of rocks. I'm like, oh, fuck. He's the one. <laughs> Not smoking rocks, but he bought me a bag of nature. Nigga. You left your husband for a bag of rocks? <laughs> for, a, for a bag of rocks. I'm going to tell you something, man. That is, I'm almost at a loss of words for that. All I can say is she's a mustard back helper, man. That's terrible. You have a man who committed himself to you through matrimony. Took vows in front of God and in front of other people. His family members was present. Yours was present. He said he loved you, bought you the ring, tried to provide, tried to protect you. You stepped out on him. Okay, that's one thing which is unacceptable. You was committing adultery. But what made it worse, what added insult to injury is the fact you left your man over some damn rocks. I can go outside my front yard right now and pick up a couple of rocks and put in the bag. And if you thought those rocks were beautiful enough, you would leave them for me. Because you're a nature person, because you like to pick up rocks. That is the dumbest. You're about as smart as a box of rocks, in my most humble opinion. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. It's just my observation. That is dumb. Dumb. All right, anyway, long story short, let me get back into this story, because that, that was just mind-boggling. And I'm sure all of you have heard that story. When you just heard that, I'm sure y'all like, God dang. That's how. That's why people are distancing, distancing <laughs> disting themselves from you ladies now let's keep going i got more that, that blew my mind when i found that clip man but anyway let's get started let's get back to the uh, main thing this lady gonna tell you about you know how women are choosing men in the penitentiary women do not know how to pick good men they don't they don't know jailbirds are up one dudes that's on the streets y'all gotta step y'all game up y'all are losing to these dudes that's in the damn prison system, okay? I was on TikTok last night and I ran across a live. It was like four dudes that was in the feds. Um, so I just tapped in to be nosy to see what they were talking about. Do y'all know it's like it was thousands of girls on there, like being so fucking thirsty, asking these locked up dudes, oh, what's your JPay? I want to see you some money. I want to come see you. I want to be your pen pal. Like, has the dating pool become that fucking bad that we got to reach out to niggas that's locked up? For love it ain't that okay first off she said you street dudes need to get your shit together no the street dudes that you're talking about are the ones who go to jail okay the street dudes don't have to do shit it's the women fault who doing that if these women are ignorant enough to try to reach out and make relationship with men who are incarcerated who they have never met then what happens to them? They deserve it. They deserve the STD. They deserve the babies out of wedlock. They deserve the hard times. They deserve everything that comes with that. That's them. Other men like myself, men who got some class, we don't want you. 
We don't need no one who is that stupid, in my most humble opinion, who is so ignorant to want that. To be asking, can you put money on their books? To try to put money on their commissary. But meanwhile, the good man can't get you to go buy a pound of bacon. You don't want to do nothing for the good man. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. All you want to do is ask for shit, beg for shit, give us a hard time, stress us out. You don't want to do that with us. But with the men who you have never met before, who's in jail for God knows what reason it may be, you want to be their best friends. You want to be their pen pal. You want to send them money. You want to wait for them when they come out. And you waiting on them to come out while you're with the good man. So as soon as they come out, you're going to let him smash them cheeks real good. Or you may leave the good man for him because, like she said, they got swag. I'm going to tell you something. Being broke has no swag. Being in trouble all the time, have no place to lay your head or have no lease or anything in your name is not swag. That's broke. And if you're attracted to being to broke people, then you are broken inside. That's dumb, bro. Let's keep going. And these niggas is winning. Like, they taking all the bitches. The bad ones, too. Like, y'all dudes on the streets gotta step y'all game up. Y'all are losing terribly to some niggas in the penitentiary. What? That's wild. And don't be mad at me. I'm just saying. I guess they loving the jail talk right now. I don't know. It's working. Whatever they saying and whatever they doing, it's working. Every other female I know is dealing with some dude in prison. <laughs> I don't know, but it speaks volumes about y'all dudes on the streets. They don't say shit, but they say something about them dudes on the streets. They don't got nothing to say about me. They don't got nothing to say about men who actually got... We don't want women like that, but you don't understand. We don't want a woman that's, um, in our personal opinion, are dumb, lack wisdom, no discernment, because a, only a foolish-hearted woman will pursue men in prison who they have never met. All they're doing is giving the women jailhouse um, promises. I was locked up several times. There's a whole lot of promising going on on the phone. Baby, I'll never do this again. You know what? I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm a, I think I'm a found the Lord. You know? I'm in here, you know, and baby, you've been with me through everything, man. I'm telling you all this shit so you won't leave me, so you keep on giving me coming, sir. And, um, but you, like they said in jail, you cannot run your household from inside. So I saw dudes in there. You better not have nobody over there. I'm just, you no, know, for example... Don't handle nobody though. You better leave him alone. I mean, I, I, man, you can't do shit while you locked up. You can't do nothing but shut the hell up. And that's all they're doing is making promises and these women are silly minded and they believe in it. Put some more on the screen. I want you to listen to this dump. <laughs> this must have back helpful. Hold on one second, y'all. I want you to see how valuable she thinks she is. <laughs> what type of man is Khadija looking for? Okay, so the type of man that I'm looking for, he got to be a six foot five African giant. He got to have all the money in the world. He got to want to take care of me, take care of my family, you know, do do the little shebang, you know, and just be a supportive, wholesome man all in all. What's the minimum he needs to make? Mm, at least $200,000 a year. Keep it a bang, just two hundred. dollars Two hundred is the minimum. That's the minimum. The max, like you know, anything oh, anything less than that, I'm not taking it. So that's just the minimum. So we I got my own money. I don't need no nigga. So. So he has to be six five. Okay. And make two hundred k. Okay, yeah. Let me ask you this question: Do you know how rare that man is? Yeah, of course. And you know how rare I am. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. What the fuck? Fuck. All right. He asked, uh, "You know how rare it is to find a man like that?" And she's gonna say, "Yeah, you know how rare I am. Rare I am." Man, women like you come a dime a dozen. There's nothing on you that makes me think I need man, come on, hell no. Nah. You got some big breasts to sis. You kinda overweight. What you are in street terms is only fuckable. There's a difference between being only fuckable and marriageable. Ain't no way a man who make 200 k a year is gonna look at you. And say, sweetheart, oh, honey child, will you do me this honor of being my mustard back here for why? Ain't nobody going to say that to you. What he going to say to you is, hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a room. Want to come through? Yeah, I got, I got what you want, girl. I got some lots. I got some script. I got some lots in the script. You want to eat some lots in the script, baby? Huh? You want to get your teeth fixed, baby? I got money, baby. You want to get your teeth fixed, baby? You wanna come on. And you're going to go through there and you're going to do that shit. There you are. Mm-hmm. But that's because you are. Fuckable. 
not marriageable. I don't know why y'all think just because you can sleep with a man mean that you can keep a man. Just because you can sleep with a man does not mean you can keep with a man. Keep a man. Nope, that's not how this goes, man. That is very unrealistic, man. Y'all women don't know how to pick men, bro. I'm telling you. Again, this is one of the many reasons why men are distancing themselves from you. Listen to the shit that come out your mouth, bro. Let's keep going. And you know how rare I am? Say that again? You know how rare I am? What the hell? That type of man is like 0.0001%. And that 0.00001% is going to be looking for me just like how I'm looking for him. So. Okay, Quinn. I'm going to tell you something, man. She says she's very, very rare. And I'm going to be honest with you. I hope the guy she is. I hope they ain't, I hope they ain't too many women like her. <laughs> I hope she's the last of the last. The last of the dying species like the rapper Scarface say. I hope you're the last one. I hope you're that rare. Because that was dumb, man. In my most humble opinion. That was lunacy. You know how uh, he going to be looking for me too. Um, anyway, long story short, man. Y'all um, live stream tomorrow, which is Sunday. 5.30 Central Standard Time um, reaction video, live stream, 5.30 Central Standard Time, Sunday, upcoming reaction video. I think y'all gonna like it, man. We gonna have a good time. Anyway, y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you later now, you hear? This might be the last video today, and um, I'll be getting ready for Sunday. Y'all have a good one now. Take it easy now, you hear?